let's work with the new entity selector now and also the data table we can use the entity selector to fill in the data table what I'll do is let's bring the data table out pin him so that he stays we'll bring it up here right underneath the graphics window so it's right here the data table as you can see let me turn off this query so it stops it we're still on element but we're, the data table is currently locked I'm going to unlock it and now fill in by picking using the entity selector and you'll see every time I picked the information from that element goes down into the data table I've now filled this data table and there's some really neat stuff we can do here with the data table first thing I'm going to do is turn off some of the columns I can click here and do it graphically we already know what type these elements are we can turn off the topology besides doing it with the the uh, the uh, drop down there we can also come in here and just tear off individual pieces and even the nodes doesn't really matter I really want to look at some output data here so what I've left now is the ID well we'll get rid of the property too we have the ID for the element we know what output vector is here and we're also seeing the elemental centroidal values and the corner values by clicking on the columns I can even sort so now I can get this down to the top five elements I even want to see who he is I can turn on highlighting and just pick and now you notice that that element is highlighted you can move down and look at the top three I can also come to the bottom and pick more than one what I'm going to do is right click and delete these rows and now I'm left with the top four only what I'll do now is hit copy and that information is now on a clipboard so I'm going to con alt tab over to Word drop that in and we get a nicely formatted report we can tab back to FEMAP and also copy the graphics window to show what is being reported.